country we need to quickly uh, 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 attend to is the virtual asset service uh, provider. So what has happened in our country is that uh, the virtual asset service providers, and here we are talking about uh, cryptocurrencies, people dealing in uh, bitcoins and the like, we do not have a robust framework to regulate and uh, supervise the virtual asset service providers as a country. What the FIC has done, however, is that it has designated players, okay, and not services, or can I say, it has designated those who are providing these services as reporting entities. In other words, we have designated what we call virtual asset service providers as reporting entities. What does that mean? It means that all obligations that fall on any other reporting entities, these obligations also apply to the virtual asset service providers. That is just one window when we look at the AMRCFT matters or ant money laundering and countering the financing of terrorism and proliferation. Now, there is a gap because when these institutions, for instance, are incorporated by, say, PACA, okay, there, they may say they are involved, for instance, in payment system, and PACRA, they'll just look at their mandate, they'll incorporate these companies. But I think before they begin to operate, we need to have a framework where these institutions will be monitored, or these uh, uh, virtual assets providers will be monitored before they can even conduct their businesses. Like, what happens with the, the, the banks? Banks will be incorporated by PACRA before they begin to offer services. They have to get a license from the central bank so that the central bank is aware of what services are being uh, uh, are offered by, 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 by the banks. I think that is a framework that we need for, 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 for this sector, the virtual asset service providers. Because, you know, crime over time, has taken a different twist. In the old days, uh, criminals would get all these monies and they'll go to the bank, cash and they'll deposit and they'll, they were not aware. Uh, at that time, crime as, I mean, the, the, the way crimes uh, I know, are being carried out, the criminals have become so sophisticated. Now they're using the digital platform. They're using the technology. So this is a space where we need also as competent authority to quickly move and begin to supervise this uh, sector because money is that could have been hidden in other jurisdictions if we do not have a proper framework criminals can use this platform to move those funds to move those monies to move those assets even in zambia without detection and we will as uh, uh, we as competent authorities we, we kind of react we don't need to react we need to have a framework and I feel that uh, as a country, we need to quickly move. I am aware that the Anti-Money Laundering uh, Authority, which is the highest policy-making body, are having discussions on how we need to quickly uh, uh, deal with this matter of um, uh, uh, virtual assets.